Get out at your school and it bears you Venus and covers you smile Welcome back to the channel and today's video is a Nando's Mukbang Uni Edition. So yeah, without talking too much, let's just get straight in. So, since, thanks to Corona, like, not everything's on the menu, I got, what did I get again? I got half a chicken, lemon and herb, I got one lemon and herb and one medium, and then I got two regular sides, which are the nice jazzy chips that they have and then a side salad usually i'd get also the hummus with the naan bread but they don't have that because of corona so yeah i decided to get um a chocolate cake so maybe that, i hope that's nice i've got some leftover ice cream from last night because i ordered um, ice cream gelato the waffles there are pain so i have left over ice cream so i'll use that to have with the um with the thinning and this is weird have they got new bags very different. Oops. But yeah guys, how are you doing? How have you been? I know I missed um, Monday's upload session, my Monday, my usual Monday scheduled video because I've been, I've, I've literally, I'm, what's the, I'm drowning in uni work. Like it's not even uni, uni work. It's just like pre-recorded lectures that we have to catch up on before the actual lecture, which is fucking ridiculous because there's normally like five PowerPoints and they're like all 20 slides long. And then obviously the tutor's speaking on it. And it just takes the piss to catch up on, literally. Obviously I missed, I didn't actually know we had to, you know, do anything until the second week when I was in my seminar. And then the teacher was like, um, have you um, have you guys not caught up? Like, did you not see the pre-recorded lectures? And everyone was like, no. We didn't fucking know we had to. So yeah, I was a bit fucking mad. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I also I also sometimes get the um, do you know the brownies that they have at Nando's? Really nice, way too good or whatever. I would usually get that because it's cheaper than the fucking cake. But they didn't have that either, so it is what it is. Oh, look at the cake. It's all packaged, like, really nicely. How cute is that? That is so cute. Yes, I'm excited for this. Yummy. Mm. So, guys, I'm going to have to move the camera so you can see what this looks like. Look, just imagine my chips are going to be, like, somewhere here. But look at that beautiful chicken right there. And look at this juiciness that we have going on over here. Well, it looks nice when I was holding it, so hold on. Look at that nice juiciness. Oh, yes. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. My chips are there. So, yes. Oh, there's so much shit. Jesus Christ. I knew we were going to do that. Can you stop? Okay, so I did my sauce off camera, but, yeah. There's the Nando's plate. Eww. Okay, let's sit that on and actually fucking eat. So yeah, how are you guys doing? Look, I wish that you guys could actually like, you know, respond, it'd be nice. But you can respond, but just not till after the video. Mm. Which is a shame. Whatever. Well, that wasn't even the words. But oh well. But yeah guys, uni's been mad, as I said. I'm joining uni work, that's not even actual uni uni work. Like, I spent the whole weekend doing week one, the week one pre-recorded lectures. I'm halfway through week two now, so yeah. And I checked last night on the week three pre-recorded lectures and there's only two um, slots, there's only two PowerPoints. So I hope it stays like that for the rest of the week so I'll be able to catch up all before um, maybe Saturday because then I have to do the pre-recorded lectures for week four. So I've got to catch up in it. So yeah, it's a bit mad. Mm. 
I'm not meant to be talking whilst I'm eating, but I can't. The food is too nice, guys. It's too nice. I've missed Nando's. I've had Nando's since right before Corona. Oh my gosh. I've missed this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And yeah, uni is crazy right now. Basically what's happened is we used to have we used to have like our lessons and stuff on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And now, like last minute last week on Friday, they changed it. They emailed us to change the schedule to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we have Thursday and Fridays off instead of Tuesdays and Thursdays. But literally, I've had to be bored. I was happily over to getting used to that freaking routine. That's why this week, I overslept on Tuesday and missed the lecture. But yeah. We move, like, I literally need to sort out my sleeping bag because it's actually fucked. It's so bad. But apart from that, I don't know what else there is to tell you. Um. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if I told you so I think I told you this in the last, um, in the last video, sorry. About having a 47 fucking seminar. Which as I said before the timetables changed, it was on Fridays. But now they've changed it to fucking Wednesdays. I mean it's better than Friday but it's still the same time so it's still not fun. Yeah, it's currently 5.53. I've got a yoga, um, what's it called? A yoga socials, obviously online at half six so i need to hurry up with this i need to hurry up eating and mm. all that lovely stuff i was also going to do like an eye makeup look, but i don't think i'm going to be able to now oh my gosh and then also there's been like drama i i do i still haven't used my oven i don't know how to use it i looked online i couldn't find anything so Finally, after receiving my fucking parcels, I literally, I'm just pissed off with like the reception here, you know, because I don't understand it. Every time I go down, the sign is up saying like, oh, I'm momentarily away, I'll be back soon, and he never fucking returns, so, I'm just like, what's all that about? So, I went down again today, and then it, it had the sign up, and then I ordered Nando's, that's the only reason why I got Nando's, just to see if it was... The sign was still there when I went down, and it was. But someone just went up to the um, the reception, anyways, and got their parcels. So I was like, I'm gonna do the same. And I didn't. I got my parcels. Thank God. Like, um, my dad got me um, some um, care packages. There's like loads of tablets and medication in. And then he got me some porridge because I actually don't have any porridge. I didn't buy it because I don't actually eat porridge. I used to love porridge when I was younger, but I literally don't like it anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't, I, just, I like it to be smooth. If it's like bumpy, it just, it puts me off. So, I don't know. But since it's not like a massive box of porridge, don't need a sachet, it's golden syrup. I love golden syrup porridge. I like veggie bread because of its smooth consistency. But, oh well, it doesn't matter. Veggie bread don't do pack packets uh, the golden syrup I have to do so yeah I'm excited to try that out tomorrow morning possibly even my wake and then um, I also got a new phone case mm. yeah hopefully it focuses and you can see it it's so nice because I was actually debating to go for the clear like edge as you can see like it's got like black instead of like just clear because on the case originally it was actually clear like the like that all around it but i've noticed like if you get a clear case after a while it goes yellow so i thought if i get a black like trimming around the edge it will stop it from going yellow and it looks really nice i'm really happy with it i like the way it makes it look massive so yeah it was um 
it was on sale for like 40 quid, but I managed to, with my shoe discount, get it down to like, it was like 30 or something like that, I don't know. But yes, I'm really happy about it. <laughs> and then me and one of my friends um, from uni, Sophia, went to um, Vapiano's. Uh, it was on Monday or Tuesday, I actually can't remember what day it was. I think it was Monday. Mm, I think it was Monday. Oh my god, I've missed that place. I'd usually get pasta, but for the first time, because Sophia was getting pizza and I hadn't tried pizza yet, so I thought I'd try it. It was actually really nice, the pizza. Oh. Why is the chicken shot so far then? But yeah, um. Um, I did, miss, I did miss the pasta though, but my usual pasta, I couldn't find it on the menu. So literally what I ordered was a margarita pizza with a Caesar salad on the side because we have to be healthy. We had to get some like greens in there, didn't we? So yeah, but next time I think I'm just going to get my pasta because I really missed it when I was eating the pizza. I was like, pasta was really nice but yeah one of my other, well two of my actual friends two of my other friends actually haven't been to black guys before so i'm gonna take them so then i get an opportunity to have the pasta again but yeah usually i get the pasta and the salad but both of the salad and the pasta are massive portions and i feel like bad but salad is healthy so i don't know and then yeah now with the guidelines usually on vapianos what they do is you don't get served like there's no waiter or anything you just help you, you don't help yourself but you go to the counter so there's um a salad counter a pasta counter and then there's like pizza lasagna counter and there's like the drinks and the bar section as well so depending on what you order you'll go to the whatever counter and then you'll watch the um the cook make it there so you'll be stood there and they'll make it in front of you and then like you have a tray it's basically like at school you know when you go to was it like the canteen and then the, the dinner lady would serve you your food it's basically like that but with a nice posher chef and you just dump it on your plate the plate they want to have they ask you what type of, of pasta you want i always like fusi pasta so that's what i go for and then it's like do you want to earn whole meal or not i go for whole meal and he puts it in the pan he just real quick and, goes, and then he adds the sauces and the shit and he goes, and he goes like and they get like wow and then he serves it to you and then you go to the, if you want salad, you go to the salad section and they do the same. And then they do it and then you, they give it to you and off you go. It's really nice, it's really nice. Mm hmm. 10 out of 10. But now because of Corona, it's just like a normal restaurant where they serve things to you so you don't get to see, you don't get the full experience. Which is a shame. I prefer it to be fair. I can't be asked to walk and watch them cook it. Which I'm lazy. Like, I saw it now on Twitter. This guy was complaining, like, oh, for fuck's sake, now you just like any normal restaurant, because that's what all restaurants do. Have waiters that serve the food to you. And then I was like, well, what would you like us to do? We are abiding by the guidelines. If you don't like it, try it. Have a go at Boris, not us. Honestly, whoever, like, runs the Vapiano's account is actually the coolest person ever. Like, can we be friends? But yeah. She's so funny. Mm -hmm. I need to some more stuff. One second. And then on the job front, I still haven't found any jobs. I applied for a couple yesterday. Or the day before. I literally can't remember. Which is, every day feels the same. I'm sat on the fucking um, tissues. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Here we go. But yeah, I guess we'll see. I really need to get a job, you see. Because I need some money coming in. Since, you know, I'm not I'm not going to drop my name, but some people, you know, just ain't it. Oh, my gosh. That was a really bent piece of chicken. Ew. Tastes gross. What in your ass? All right, and me and my friend are going to have roast dinner. On Sunday, so I'm excited about that. It's called the restaurant's called um, Vault Out. Mm -hmm. 
It's giving me some vibes right now. So I hope it's nice. I'm very excited. Literally because it's really hard to like go to like, you know, like at home for me, like there was restaurants everywhere. And obviously my parents drove or the places, the restaurants are like walkable distance, but Oh, the, um, Manchester's like a big city and I feel like if you're in town you can walk to the restaurants but I feel like anywhere else you're going to need to have like a car or get an Uber or something otherwise you're going to find it really hard to get to these places so like you know like they have like the harvester and like you know like at home we have Winfield Farm but there's a I don't know what it's called here but I've seen it on the way to Trafford Centre there's a Holiday Inn, a massive one, and then they've got this restaurant next to it and it's under the same chain as Wingfield Farm. I think it might even be under the same chain as um, um, The Harvester, I'm not too sure. But you know like those type of pubs, like, um, I don't know where other pubs we go to. There's like Brewer's Fair, that's that we go to at home, and Wingfield Farm, they're the two main restaurants that we go to or like um what's the other one that my brother always talks about what's it called where you get really nice and do roast i can't remember what it's called with the guy oh i've never been to this restaurant before i'll have to ask my brother later and then i have to insert it here because i can't remember the name but yeah like that type of restaurant or those type of restaurants I feel like you have to have like a car or an Uber like to get to there because they're that far away, like they're not in town. So that's why we're going to this place because I feel like it's in West, I don't know how you say the name, Dids, Dids, Dis, Did, Busbury or Dis, I don't know how you fucking say it. I'll put it on the screen again. But yeah, it's really nice actually. And I don't know because like there are some pubs in town but because I've never been before, I'm not too sure what they're like it's really it's really weird because i didn't i didn't really think about this before because obviously at home we've been that many times you don't even think about it but here it's weird because obviously i wouldn't have been to any of these restaurants before so obviously it'll be my first time going alone which is weird oh yeah and then with the yoga thing oh my god yoga is actually so difficult like like when i was in class on tuesday I was like, how does she, how does the teacher just go from like downward dog straight to standing up? I couldn't do that. And I was actually laid on the floor for like five minutes because I couldn't do it. I was like, what the hell? How is everyone doing this? And oh my god, I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. And then after the, the next day, my burns were aching, which is a good thing. Like obviously, like you know, after you've exercised, the day after you like burns hurt and stuff. So I must have been doing it right. Yeah, I'm excited for the next session. Oh my god, I just want a burn. Literally, I missed um, the second session of yoga today though because I had uni stuff to do. So maybe later tonight or tomorrow or whenever I can do like extra yoga on the side to improve my yoga ability. I've, I've been so busy like catching up on uni work. I haven't, I haven't watched anything, like no Netflix. Um, I was on YouTube, like I was catching up on like Byron's videos, Young Philly and Chunks' video, and um, yeah, a couple of other people's videos. Yeah, I've been watching the TV shows or movies. Yeah, have you heard about the new um, Prison Break 6 is coming, new season, I'm excited. Um, it's going to be a shame though that the guy, you know the guy that was the prison guard, obviously, remember in like, one of the seasons he sacrificed himself when they were building like, what was it, a tunnel and there was water and he sacrificed himself. I was actually really sad. That was like the nicest thing ever. Honestly. I'm so sad that he's not going to be in the new season, I don't think. But yeah. Yes, I'm nearly finished on my chicken now. 
it's 10 past 6. Shit. <laughs> this needs for me to fuck up. Oh shit. Oh, I went on my legs, that's alright. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm finished now. Oh, yay. I'm wasting a bit of mayo. But for fuck's sake, uh, I was doing so well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go now because literally I've got the socials as I said. I have passed and it's quite past now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want me to see more mukbangs, let me know in the comments. I'll also tag my breakfast mukbang that I did ages ago in the what do you call it things somewhere on this side or this side. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, but I love you all. Bye.